Hi friends! Today we will learn about global warming. So let's start. In our last section we learned what is the greenhouse effect. Let's revise. We know solar radiation reaches Earth and warms the Earth atmosphere, but to maintain optimal temperature on Earth, this happens a lot. All radiation from the sun doesn't reach the Earth's surface. Some of the radiation is absorbed by the ozone layer because they are harmful for life on Earth. For example, ultraviolet radiation. And the radiation that reaches the Earth's surface warms the Earth's surface. And then the heated Earth's surface radiates the heat energy in the form of infrared radiation. And if all the radiation is allowed to escape the atmosphere of the Earth, the Earth would be unimaginably cold and life would not be possible on Earth. And various gases present in the Earth's atmosphere absorb these reflected infrared radiation and warms the atmosphere. That is, all the radiation that is not allowed to escape the Earth's environment goes ahead and warms the Earth's atmosphere and keeps it warm during the night because the radiation is not allowed to escape the Earth's atmosphere. And that happens due to the greenhouse gases present in the Earth's environment. The most abundant greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons and hydrofluorocarbons. These greenhouse gases come from various sources, like decomposition of waste material production of energy, industrial processes, transportation, agriculture, and so on and so forth. So the greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon which is beneficial for life on Earth as it maintains the optimal temperature for the life to exist on the Earth. But an excess of everything is not good. We learned that greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon which is good for the environment and it maintains the optimal temperature for the life to exist on Earth. But when there is an increase in the greenhouse effect due to various human activities, then there becomes an excess of greenhouse gases in the environment, which leads to more absorption of the heat. And this goes on to raise the Earth's average temperature, which is called global warming. I repeat, greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon, which is good for the Earth's atmosphere, as it maintains the optimal temperature for the life to exist on Earth. But when human activities release an excess amount of greenhouse gases into the environment and the atmosphere absorbs more heat than the required amount and it raises the average temperature of the Earth. And this raising of the average temperature of the Earth is called global warming. About 10,000 years ago, there was 260 to 280 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And now, in the 21st century, there is about 389 parts per million. According to studies, this is not safe. The amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere should be 350 parts per million. Higher levels are not safe for the life on Earth, and global warming is all due to this increased percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, let's learn what are the causes of this increase in greenhouse effect or global warming. There are various natural causes that lead to global warming, and the first is the increased greenhouse effect. The amount of greenhouse gases is increasing, and this increased amount of greenhouse gases is absorbing more heat in the atmosphere, which increases the average temperature of the Earth. Natural calamities. Forest fires and volcanoes release large amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, so that's also leading to global warming. Some studies show that the slow tilting of the Earth's axis is also raising our Earth's average temperature. Deforestation 
we know forests and trees absorb carbon dioxide during respiration, so they're continuously absorbing greenhouse gases. But deforestation leads to a loss of trees from the earth, so deforestation reduces the capability to absorb the greenhouse gases, which leads to global warming. Industrialization All types of industries release a lot of greenhouse gases into the environment, so they lead to global warming. Transportation All types of vehicles release a lot of methane and other harmful gases into the atmosphere that contribute to the absorption of heat in the atmosphere. Decomposition of organic waste also releases methane gas as well as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and contributes to global warming. Respiration Respiration is also a reason for global warming. All life forms except for green plants release carbon dioxide during respiration and an increasing population is leading to an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Thermal power plants use fossil fuels to produce electricity, and as the demand for electricity is continuously growing, a huge number of power plants are being set up, which leads to an excess release of greenhouse gases into the environment. Agriculture and feeding farm animals is also one of the sectors that generates the highest amount of emissions of carbon dioxide, which is a main greenhouse gas. In order to feed the growing population, the agriculture sector has been put under a huge amount of pressure to raise large amounts of food that needs an increasing amount of space and a large amount of chemical fertilizers. And for that, trees are cut down to clear spaces for cultivation. We also add methane to the atmosphere by raising cattle and other farm animals such as geese, turkeys, pigs, chickens, and sheep. Scientists have shown that producing one kilogram of beef results in more carbon dioxide emissions than going for a three-hour drive while leaving all the lights on at home. Yes, it is true. So we must eat less bovine meat and dairy products. We need to change our eating habits in order to protect our environment. So agricultural industries and intensive farming are also responsible for carbon dioxide emissions in the environment. Now let's learn some consequences of effects of global warming. Shrinking of glaciers. Changes in the range of distribution of plants and animals. Rising of sea levels or submerging of islands. Trees and flowers blooming earlier. Lengthening of the growing seasons of many plants. Rivers and lakes freezing later and melting earlier. Thawing of the permafrost less oxygen in the air, less heat escaping to space from Earth, shrinking of the upper atmosphere, cooling of the upper atmosphere, or increased cooling of the upper atmosphere, more heat returning to the Earth, rising of the troposphere. So, these are some of the consequences of global warming. We will learn about these consequences in detail in our next section.